Now it is time to test our water with our Freshwater Master Test Kit. Link below for this kit. If you're going to cycle your system with fish, this is a very necessary tool. Oh, my knife on me. I have a knife in here. I keep knives all around, so when I happen to not have mine on me. Good. Okay, so this test includes chemicals that can be dangerous. So we have our PPE on, goggles, and gloves. Ready to rock? Yep. Science class begins. Now. The reason we have to test with this and not just our easy test strips is that this allows us to check ammonia levels, whereas the easy test strips do not let us check ammonia but this allows us to check that ammonia level. I've never done this before. This is not a video on how to do this. This is just a video where you get to watch me bumble my way through testing ammonia. Why test for ammonia? Fish continually release ammonia directly into the aquarium pond through their gills, urine, and solid waste. Uneaten food, decaying organic matter, also puts ammonia in the water. High levels of ammonia quickly lead to fish death. Even trace amounts stress fish we have these nifty little test tubes here. We're gonna fill our test tube up here to the five milliliter line with the water we wanna test, which is the water in our system. Can you fill that up? Yep. Hold up your test tube. Yeah. We need water in that. Too much? Science class 101. When you are reading your levels, you have to read, repeat after me, at the meniscus. Right the meniscus. Meniscus. This was, of all the things I learned in science class, 13 years of public school. Was it 13? Read at the meniscus. Okay, eight drops of solution number one. Number two. We're done with that stuff. Now we cap the solution and we shake vigorously for one, two, three, four, five. And now we watch our test tube and see what color it becomes. It looks like it's kind of yellow. Has it been about five minutes? It sure has. Okay, let's check out our results. If we look at our test here, we are looking at <laughs> this is hard. I'm colorblind and green is one of the colors I have trouble seeing. Maybe we should bring mommy in for this. Yeah. So which shade of green is it? I'd say one. You'd say one? Mm-hmm. Okay. We just got our second opinion. It is one parts per million ammonia. Any level above zero can harm fish. In a new aquarium or pond, the ammonia level may rise and then fall rapidly. The ammonia will then be converted to nitrite, then to nitrate. This process may take several weeks. This is what they call cycling the system. All right, so we are not at dangerously high level. We're at one part per million. A dangerous level is four, they say. Uh, we're going to just keep monitoring this over the next few days. We should do a nitrite test and a nitrate test. These are all some serious chemicals here. Definitely like makes me not love having to do this often. These strips test nitrate and nitrate and pH. They are a bit more expensive, but you don't have to deal with all this, which is, I don't want to deal with all this, but the only thing they don't get is the ammonia levels. So I think I would check the ammonia levels with this, but then man, just use those easy strips for the rest of the stuff. So you don't have to worry about all that chemical nastiness. Our nitrate levels 
are right around zero. Our ammonia levels are at one part per million. Our pH has risen. We're up towards the seven, 7.6 area. So we're gonna have to work on our pH. Everything else looks good. This is the master test kit. We're gonna go clean these out. So for way less time, we can take one of these test strips, dip it in water, wait 30 seconds, and then we can compare, boom, right away. I already see my pH reading is the same, around seven point. Our nitrite levels are non-existent. Our nitrate levels are you know, barely one. With this little test strip, in just a moment, I just took most of those tests. I didn't have to deal with any scary chemicals. It, they are more expensive, but that is a no-brainer to me. I don't have to work with chemicals. I don't have to wear goggles and stuff. I just go, boop, oh, everything's good. All they don't test for is the ammonia. So, guys, link below. Get yourself the easy strips. If you're running an aquaponic farm, and you're burning through this stuff, then yes, using the kit is probably a better idea. But if you're doing something like us, those test strips. Pfft. There will be a link in the description for the test strips and also for the ammonia stuff that you'll need. And uh, if you wanna help support our channel, help us keep going, do all your Amazon shopping, type in Amsteady before you go to Amazon. www.amsteady.com. It brings you to Amazon. We get a bonus for sending you there. Helps us make this channel without doing anything extra. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in a less scientific video.